Well, I guess I have to do another vent on musky handling. Social media sure is a fun thing at times. So on my Facebook page last evening, we had posted a picture of a young man and his father, his father holding the fish. It was this huge musky. And they had a vertical hold on there and actually hanging from a scale, which is really not a good idea to do from a handling standpoint. We pointed that out, but we said, my gosh, this is an unbelievable, exceptional fish. Look at this young man, eight years old, caught this big fish. Well, long story short, the internet blew up again. And the poor kid, well, all I know is, is two hours after it started, I was offline. My poor wife is getting messages down in Tennessee. The dad had talked to her and said, oh, you got to get my name off of there and the place we live. Everybody's hating on Boy, it's just amazing what can happen on the Internet these days. And then we had the bump board blow up here. Well, I don't know, that was like three weeks ago. I happened to mention that possibly the extra measuring on the deck or the floor of the boat might not be a good thing for the fish. wasn't really necessary. That went crazy. You know what's the interesting thing about all of this? When I think of the history of it, it was probably 20 years ago I started talking about it a little bit, you know, somewhere around there, but vertical holds from a common sense standpoint. And there was fish biologists pointing out that it's probably not a good idea. It stresses on the organs. I don't know what my son's laughing at, right? Oh, I see. <laughs> The dog's doing a doo-doo back there. That's a nice little break in the main event. I'll try and get in the way of all of that here. But, uh, but anyway, at the time, I actually was crazy enough to say that vertical holes were probably bad for muskies. We should try and avoid it, do supported holes, and this, that, and the other. So, at that time... There were a lot of other uh, experts out there that didn't like me because they were holding all their fish vertically. And they're like, you're crazy. These are just a fish. Yep, they are just a fish. Best thing to do isn't fish for them, whatever. But anyway, back then, I was kind of crazy for saying the vertical hold wasn't good. And apparently now you deserve to be darn near shot, tarred, feathered, whatever, if you have a brief vertical hold. But anyway... Two people this summer, and, and this is very seriously a shame. I know of a 56 inch fish some guys contacted me about, and this particular big fish, which was, they measured it at 60 inches, which of course is an unbelievable fish. Both of these people had the experience of their lifetime, and huge fish for musky fishing, and were literally ruined and shamed, basically. This other fish, a 56 inch with people contacted me, said, oh my God, they were the happiest moments of their life. I saw the video, the guy was so excited, it was crazy. He held the fish up vertically for about three seconds. Next thing you know, he gets blown off the internet. This wonderful experience turns into a horrible experience. My point would be that we gotta be aware of these handling issues. We point them all out and they're all cumulative. They add up, they could possibly kill a fish, but be honest about the different issues. By the way, I choose to hold up fish for the camera. TV camera, I don't have to do that. That's not good for the fish. It's time out of the water. I'm guilty, I choose to do that, okay? The measuring is extra. Vertical holds should be avoided. All of these things to try and help the fish. But the one thing that shouldn't happen is what has happened. The people that are looking out for the resource, and you are, and I appreciate that you're looking out for the resource, but you are not going to help people, and you're not going to get more people to be handling fish right by beating them senseless when they're doing something wrong. Remember, we all started, right? I know I screwed up. I suspect everybody, you know, wasn't so good at it, the first fish they handled that somebody has to have their experience totally destroyed because they didn't do something perfectly when they had good intentions, that's really a shame. So let's do our best to have catch and release, be successful, but be nice, please, when you're offering a little advice on handling.